Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to film a quick video, just a little follow up on that super capacitor battery I made for my Subaru. Here it is. Let's see. Open that up. Now, I have not been in here yet this morning. Let's see. How cold is it outside? 14 degrees. That's uh, wonderful. That's before I start it. Just want to make sure, you know. Um, I did add a small, like a motorcycle battery. Just for every, you know, day to day livability. So you can see that wired in parallel here. Uh, just your group little uh, size 20 motorcycle battery. Um, the box itself remains unchanged from last time I videoed it. Um, this just added, sort of added to the cranking power a little bit so it cranks a little bit faster as well as um, adds a little bit more reserve so you can you know roll down your windows or listen to the stereo a little bit you know with the engine still off. And it, with this configuration, I have never had it die on me. Um, my wife says it has, but I wasn't, I'm not aware of all of the parameters, like how long she had it on there. It seems like she still had the ignition on, so the radiator fans were probably still going, which probably sucked a lot of juice out of it. That's my guess of why it, why it died on her, but anyway. So, with that, Go. That's first start, and that was with the headlights on. If I turn the headlights off, then now that it's already started once, it should should crank a little faster. Yeah, yeah, a little bit faster. But yeah. Um. So overall livability, I've seen no difference between this and a regular battery. I mean, you kind of do have that in the back of your head, you know, to not do as many things with the engine not running. Um, uh, I was going to say, uh, some of you might might say that adding the motorcycle battery sort of negates the whole purpose, and I'm not necessarily. My goal was to get something that lasts longer, where the capacitors will last almost indefinitely, as long as they don't corrode. Um, which it might not be a bad idea to pop that open at some point in the near future here and just make sure, you know, the condition of everything is good inside there. But I figure the case is weather tight, waterproof, and then each board I uh, sealed individually with the, the silicone coating. So that should in theory do it, but I'll, I, should, I should check it anyway, um, just to make sure everything's working as, as it should. Um, but anyway, so the, the capacitors will last almost indefinitely, which is mainly what's starting the car. Um, yeah, just adding the, the little battery adds day-to-day -day livability. Uh, if you wanted to go just on super capacitors, you'd have to get some bigger ones, which are really expensive. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, um, the, uh, the capacitors as far as starting the car, I think the capacitors take the brunt of it, and not putting a whole lot of stress on that battery, so that battery should last longer than it normally would, because it's not doing all of the starting. Um, in theory, I mean, I, I don't, I haven't worked any of this out on, in, you know, on paper or with math or anything like that. It's just, you know, hey, let's see if this helps. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep you posted. If any part of it fails, I'll. I'll film it so that it's documented. Um, as for, I don't have this well documented as far as it's been in here. Um, let's say I first made it October of 2016. Um, I had it installed for a couple of months, and it it died a few times. Uh, so I took it back out, and that's when I added the second bank of capacitors, uh, and then. 
So I was back to the regular car battery for a couple months while I was getting that worked out. And then I put it back in again for a couple months. I think I put it back in in February. And then I think in April, April or May, I put the uh, motorcycle battery in. And that's I've left it unchanged since then. It's been doing great so far. So, yeah, again, I'll, I'll film more updates as they come along. Um, hopefully in the, next, in the next couple months, I, I think I'm going to break that, uh, take it out, open it up just to make sure everything looks good in there. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Thanks.